Good morning, guys. I'm bringing you a shopping video today. I was just busy at the computer all weekend and I just wanted to run out and get out of the house away from the screen for a little bit. If you're just joining me, I'm Melissa. Welcome. And I'm really excited. I'm just excited to go film and show you guys some plants and just browse. I've been naughty lately buying some plants, so I'm not going to buy. <laughs> My goal is to not buy anything because I feel like I need to slow it down. I feel like I bought, I don't know, I bought, I feel like I bought a lot of plants since the beginning of the year. So I'm just going to go look and see what they have. I don't know exactly where all I want to film. I just pulled up at a Lowe's and I have filmed here before and there's a Walmart like five, six miles away. I'm thinking I want to drive there and see if there's anything good there. And there is also a Home Depot here. So we'll see where, I don't know if I want to stop in all those places today, but we'll see. I have some other errands to do after this video too. But thank you guys so much for joining and I hope you enjoy the shopping video. Right when I walked in, I saw a white knight just sitting here on the shelf. I was just shocked. I didn't even know white knights was even a thing here at the big box store. And then I found a pink princess. I was like, how lucky am I to find these here? I honestly, I wasn't super impressed with the pink princesses. I found a couple more down here. They had quite a bit of plants in there. You could see that one had three. And this one here had several in there as well. But again, they didn't have a lot of pink, so wasn't too impressed with those. But the White Knight, I just was like, this is coming home with me. I could not believe it. I don't have one of these. And it was the only one that I found here on this shelf until I was peeking kind of below by the Peperomia. I thought I saw some more back there and I'm like, yes. So I pushed this card out to kind of get back here and I found a few more. I took them all down so I could look at them better and just see, you know, the variegation on each one a little bit more closely. I honestly, I was just so excited. I just was in disbelief. I feel like I never get lucky and find these plants at the big box store. And I just was like looking at all the leaves, the variegation. These ones had two plants in them. I think everyone had two plants. And yeah, I think I was here for like, I'm not kidding, for like 15 minutes just looking at these. And I finally decided on one. I put the rest back on the shelf and I just took one with me around the rest of the shopping video but I did come back to them later. <laughs> I did change my mind on the one that I originally picked out and I will talk about that more later and why I decided to do that. I also found another pink princess. Um, that one again had little variegation and I found one more here too. Yes, here we go. And that one had a lot in there, but again, like, the variegation was pretty disappointing on the pink princesses. The rest of the cart had some various plants. We had a couple ficus plants. These were only $13.98 and I thought it was a great deal for the pot and the plant. And they had some calathea, a fern, and they had some monstera peru and a monstera adansonii, some ZZ, peperomia, and over here, like in the main section, they had some geo plants, some fiddle leaf figs, lots of larger plants, zizis, aglionemas, diffenbachias. There were some peace lilies in here. Yeah, they had a pretty good selection here just from like Costa farm plants. My apologies for doing a voiceover for this video. The music in here was really loud. Hanging up, they had some cute like planter pots. That one was $26.98 for the Marble Queen. They had a strawberry begonia and some Pylea peperomioides. Those were really cute. And they had an alocasia here. That one I think was, yeah, $22.98. 
and some more Costa farm plants, Syndapsis, Monster, Peru. There were some Baltic blue, Calatheas, and a sea of ZZ plants. <laughs> They also had some smaller pots. This one was a Hartley philodendron and another Pilea. That one was $26.98 in that cement color pot. And I thought the basket was like a pretty big basket. It was only $19.98. And it was a pretty full pot that I thought, so definitely a great deal. I think someone would be very happy to find that. This little lipstick plant was cute too. Out of the smaller plants, nothing really new. Um, again, I was looking for some variegated Maranta, but didn't see anything. Over here, they had a Syngonium and they also had this little like tiger begonia and some creeping fig. They had this cart by the entryway. There was some neon pothos and some other like various hanging baskets. They had lots of network calathea down here and a lot of like golden pothos, syngonium, there's a neon pothos and then some various like cacti succulents. Here was another look at the neon one. I think this pot was $15.98, I believe. On the end cab, they had this beautiful red maranta hanging up, and they had some other various plants in these pots, another pilea. This marble queen was really pretty. I thought that one had great variegation. And some cute little like Easter arrangements, little succulents. And kind of towards the bottom, there was some more alocasia. I thought these were cute. I think these were only $15.98, which I thought was a pretty good deal for the plant and the pot together. Coming outside here, they had tons of succulents. They had these cute little lithops for less than $5. They had so much outside. Again, I was looking for string of dolphins, which I couldn't find. A lot of these arrangements were really cute. The pots were adorable, and for the most part, they looked, you know, pretty healthy, but just so many to choose from. They had several carts full of succulents, and they had so many here behind me too. Look at all of those, just so many to choose from.
They had some more Cebu Blue baskets out here. They had two of them. And again, this one here looked really full and beautiful. And they had some more golden pothos here. I also saw there was a Calithia. That one was gorgeous. There were a couple of these ones. This cart had just some various plants. They had Fetonia, um, pothos, fern, some small plants. They even had some Hoya here. This one I think was only $17.98. So that one was really cute and adorable. That was the Crimson Princess. And there was a Hoya here hanging up too. This one was a Bilobata. Some more Calitheas back here. This one caught my eye. I just thought that color was so pretty. It's like this silvery blue. That was the Bilobata. There was another one actually up top. Some peace lilies there. And then just checking around back. They had a lot of larger plants behind me. It was mostly just fiddle leaf figs. There were so many fiddle leaf figs outside. I don't know what the deal was with all of those. And over here, you could see they were still, they were literally wrapping around the store. There were so many. And they had some larger ZZ plants here too. This cola acacia was beautiful. It was like 65, so a little too expensive for me. So overall, they had a pretty good selection here. I just got back in my car. Sorry for the voiceover for the first part. I was not expecting to walk in there and find white knights or white princesses. I didn't even know Costa was even releasing white knights. I don't know. Of course, I had to get one. I definitely wanted a white knight or a white princess. I like the white princess. I like the pink, the pops of pink, but I just got the white knight because it was there. I felt like I was obligated to. I don't know. I feel like I could not leave it. So I got one. I had to move my chair back a little bit. I picked up, so there were four white knights there. I had them all in my hands, looking at them all very closely. I had picked one up and filmed around the store with it. And then I came back to the cart and stared at them again for like 10 more minutes. I'm like, why is it so hard to pick one? I ended up picking, I think the ugliest one. So the one that I had originally picked out, I put back and I got the one that had a lot of leaf damage. And I'll tell you why. So there's two plants in these. And so one of the plants here is the one that has the most damage. Like all four leaves are cut off, cut off on this plant. So when I go to repot this, I'm gonna separate the two. And I'm gonna do it sooner than later because the soil is sopping wet. Like it is extremely wet. And the reason why I picked this one is because the other one in here is very nicely variegated, I feel like. So it has, if I can show you, it has a bottom leaf here and here, and it has another leaf here. This one, every leaf basically had variegation here and here. And so when I'm picking plants that are variegated, I try to pick plants that have variegation on pretty much every leaf, because then I feel like the chances of it continuing are pretty good. And so even though this other one is really ugly looking, it may not have good variegation on it. It's hard to say, but yeah, I'm probably just going to propagate the other vine that's in here and just do like a node propagation or something because all the leaves are gone. I don't, I don't want to keep that. And so I'll have like a healthy one here. You can kind of see it better that way growing. I'll put it on a pole and this newest leaf has, you know, some variegation. So I just feel like that one out of all the plants, had the most variegation on every leaf. So that's why I got this one. So excited I found those. I got something else, you guys. And I haven't even gone to the other stores yet. I was not supposed to be buying anything today. But I saw it, it was outside, it was in sun, sorta, kinda, and I didn't wanna leave it because I just have a special place for these plants and it's beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. Ta da! <laughs> it's a Calithea pink star. I don't have a pink star. I have the Rosa Pictia Sylvia that I got here. 
Um, I got at the same Lowe's, but this one is so beautiful. I'm parked in the shade. Hopefully you can see okay. It has like a pink and silvery undertone to it. I just think the color on this one is so beautiful. Silvery blues are some of my favorite plant leaves and I love that silvery blue and it has like sparkles in the leaves too. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Uh, and it looked so full and happy for Calathea. I'm going to put this one in my bathroom because my other one is doing well. Again, it's just in this soggy, wet, wetness. So I'll eventually get it repotted. But Calatheas, I just, I don't bother them right away. It'll be fine to stay in here for a little while. But the philodendron, I'm going to get out of there sooner than later. So I was here last week. Was it last week or the week before? It was last week. I got one of those geo plants. So I have another plant that I'm going to have to repot and stuff. And the reason why I got a geo plant is because it had a leaf that was variegated on it. And I asked my Instagram and they said that it was due to it being um, just the way the new leaves come in. But it's been a week and the variegation is still just prominent. So I think it is variegated. I think I got lucky and I'll have to, I'll be excited to see that one grow. But yeah, that one I'll probably put in my bathroom too. I might stop in the Home Depot right down here and just peek at what they have and show you guys a little bit. I'm not going to do like a full filming of every single plant in there. And then I think I might run to Walmart last because they have a nice little selection of plants in there too. So off to Home Depot we go. Here's some of the CZ plant, the chameleon. Color on some of these are beautiful. I feel like mine isn't as variegated. I love that strand right here, that's so pretty. Those are 1998 from Costa. Huge birds of paradise here. They're 99. Looks like we have some various snake plants and all kinds of stuff there. There's a little bit of succulents here on this shelf. Here's some peace lilies. Those guys are only $10. They're a little etoliated. They need to go outside to get light. what's over here. I keep hearing of everyone finding variegated money trees. I feel like I always look past the money trees. I'm gonna have to start checking them. <laughs> that orchid's pretty. Lots and lots of orchids here. Let's see, here's some begonia maculatas. Some more of the chameleon zizis. Oh man, those peace lilies are so sad. They need some water. Oh. Lots of global green. We have some calathea here and some raphidophora tetrasperma. Here's a raven zizi. Little fiddly figs here. What else? What else? There's a selection of small plants. Um, they don't really have a lot right now. I keep wanting to find a variegated Marietta. Here's a cute little baby rabbit tracks. That's cute. Some Syngonium here, the Maria. Lots of succulents. So many. This Home Depot is loaded in succulents. These little baskets here are, I imagine they're probably around $20 or something, $25. Look at that cactus there. 
Here's a cute basket of Marble Queen. That basket is really cute. Here's a Tratascantia for $19.98. Lots of different spider plants and succulent arrangements here. This Leaf Joy section has been here for a little while. I actually found my Alocasius and Uwata here. It looks like they don't have any plants left. Here's a Monstera Deliciosa, a couple of them, and then here's a Rojo Congo for 30. We have some Calatheas left. There's a Tratascantia back there. And we have some Silver Dragon, Polly's, a Birkin, a Silver Dragon left. There's another Birkin. And then up top, I got one of these cute little guys, the Tenanthe Burl Marxi. I couldn't resist that one. It's a Silver Dragon, a couple more Calathea. Another Calathea there. There's a green princess. Yeah, this thing was loaded full when I came in here. I think it was last week when I was in here, the week before. Um, it was full of plants. See here behind me, this Home Depot has loads of huge plants in here. Alocasia, fiddles. Birds of Paradise, Ficus, Monstera, Peace Lilies, you name it. This this Lowe's is, or this Home Depot is always full. We have so many big plants. There's a couple thirsty neon pothos up top. I love these alocasias. I want to get another one. This one here is a winty eye. Look at how big this winty eye is. I might um, plant one outside around our house. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not gonna get one today though. And then we have the, I think this one, I'm not sure what this one this one is exactly. It might be the California, but that's the Winti eye. It's a little bit different. You can see the underside of the Winti eye too. Huge, huge fiddle leaf figs, $99. Look at how big they are. They're literally a tree and there's some more over there. They're huge. I think they're cute though how you have like the tree part up top and then the plant on the bottom. I think that's so cute. There's some birds of paradise here on the end. Lots and lots of fiddles over here. So many big plants. I love this Home Depot because of this reason. They just have so many big plants here. I don't see the Monsteras. They must be out of the Monsteras. Huge peace lilies. Look at the flower on that. Lots of Dracaenas doing the same way with the plants on the bottom, it looks like. How they're doing that. Not much hanging up in here. We have some heart leaves, some Tratascantia. Peperomia fern, huge money trees. These are $40. More peace lilies. Costa usually has more over here. It's Aglionema. What else is here? Here's a ficus. This is the Leaf Joy one for 20. It's another Birkin. Is there only 14.98? Some sago palms down there. Fern. Here's 
Here is a Cupid Peperomia. Lots more of these baskets of succulents. Look at this cart. I mean, look at how pretty that is. I don't know if we would do a spider plant and a succulent together, but it looks beautiful together. Like that, look at how pretty that is. These are $40. I feel like you definitely want to separate some of these. Here's a Lauterbachia alocasia, the leaf joy one. All right, they don't really have too much else in here. Just loads of succulents. There's just so many. I'm going to see what they have outside. Just got inside Walmart. They actually have a huge selection of outdoor plants here. And I see some indoor plants. So I'm gonna look through here. There's a little Syngonium. 448. Some of this stuff looks really thirsty. This is probably Easter cactus here. It's a golden pothos. Some little succulents here. Those ones in the white containers are $10. I see some silver dragon. Again, these ones look really thirsty. You see how they're curling like that? Those are Costa, so $19.98. Oh, here's a Hoya, Curtisii. That's a nice find from Walmart. That one is, I imagine $20. Lots of gold and pothos here. Let's see, here's some Raphidophora hay eyes. Here's another Hoya. I feel like these guys are thirsty. Some snake plants here. Let's see what's over here. Oh, look at that. Poor things. Oh, here's lots and lots of global green over here. 1984. Another Hoya basket. Golden Pothos. The very sad <laughs> dried end cap. Let's see, we have ferns, corn plants, Dracaenas, Diffenbachias there. Oh wait, what's this? Ooh, stuff that hasn't been unboxed yet. And they're just tossed in here, what the heck? Looks like golden pothos. Yeah, those are all golden pothos. What's in here? Raven's Easies. Bunch of those. They're mostly just cacti and succulents and these small ones, so maybe just some golden pothos. Can't tell really what's in these ones on the bottom. What else is here? Look at those cacti. Those are huge. Money trees, Dracaena. There's a euphorbia there.
with some begonia maculata. Wow, look at that. Look at that Raven's Easy stock. It's huge. Look how chonky that is. That is humongo. <laughs> Got some succulent arrangements there on that other side. Lots of orchids. Uh, these plants need some water. This is so sad. I don't know why this bothers me so much. Poor plants. I honestly thought this Walmart kept pretty good care of their plants. I was here one time before and, you know, they were in a lot better shape. It's a cute little Dracaena. Oh, plants. I'm being naughty. <laughs> Looks like some small plants in here, maybe. It's a huge box, though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look at them. We got some purple waffle plants, jade, petonia. Oh man, what if there's a variegated maranta in here? That stinks. More begonia maculatas, look at those. Some succulents. Here's a random calathea. Aglionema here. Some sad Baltic blues and syndapsis. Trying to grow back from nothing. More sad Baltic blue. Here is a, I think that's a white butterfly syngonium. That one looks happy. Here's these little succulent baskets for 15. There's a Birkin back here, another Aglionema. Ooh, I found some Caladium. Ooh, I'm gonna have to get some. I haven't been able to find any Caladium yet at our big box stores. This one is gorgeous. How much are these? Oh, they're only $5 each. I might get a few of these. I seriously love Caladiums for outside. And then there's this one here, which is called a white cap. Oh, that's beautiful. I think the rest of this stuff is just like outdoor, outdoor plants and it looks like some herbs, flowers. I think that's pretty much for Maybe the house plants. Oh, there's a Miranda. What? What are these doing up here? Oh, there's a Syndapsis. Look at that. Oh no, the Miranda's gonna get crispy. Oh no, I can't get to it. I wish it was variegated. I have so many of the rabbit tracks Maranta though. Poor thing. I hope someone buys it. Here's some Caladium and these little planters. Gosh, this stuff looks so sad out here. Some of this stuff looks new with like plastic wrap on it. All these ferns here just baking in the sun with plastic wrap. All right, I think that's pretty much it for house plants in here. I might see if I can take a peek in any more of these. <laughs> 
so I finished up in Walmart as you saw a lot of the plants were kind of sad they just really needed water and I didn't get to look through all the boxes I kind of peeked in some that you were seeing so it's okay I'll just order probably variegated marietta online since I've been looking for a few weeks and I can't find any locally so I'll just order and I have one it's just been attacked by flat mites and it's just struggling a bit is why so I got some caladium look look at how beautiful I got four of these ones so caladium I plant in planters in around like on our back patio and I've been planting some in the ground too so they're $4.97 and it is a beautiful caladium do you see that so beautiful they look like they need water probably soon especially they're going to be sitting in my car for about another hour and a half or so because I gotta I gotta run to the grocery store after this and the pet store it'll be okay I'm gonna park in the shade and then I got this one I wanted to get another one of this one but I only got one because it was $7.84 this one's called a white cap which I don't have I have the white butterfly I thought this one is very beautiful too I'm obsessed with caladiums. So caladiums are annuals, so they will die back in the fall. Like towards the end of summer, fall is when they kind of start to die back. But I store their bulbs over winter and plant them back in the spring. And the ones that I did already that I had stored are starting to grow. So I keep these, I just store their bulbs. I'm gonna plant some in the ground, some more of these in the ground and I'm gonna eventually get some more to kind of landscape the around the house some because I love elephant ears you know anything that looks like an alocasia I love I'm very happy with everything I felt like I got lucky really lucky to find that white knight for sure so I'm gonna head to the grocery store and finish up my errands thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this shopping trip if it's cold where you're located I hope you get some warmer weather soon and and your stores can get some good stock near you. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you later.